Oh, hi, Dave. Hello, Ian. Hello. We are Team Clear Coat. We are. Welcome, one and all. Probably not, though. <laughs> We're an automotive podcast. I'm Dave. I am Ian. And when I said welcome, one and all, really, I meant welcome, most of you. A couple of you know what you did. <laughs> Ian, don't alienate any of our listeners. <laughs> Ian, yes. I, I got a box in the mail the other day from Rock Auto. Yeah. That's where I order a lot of my parts. Okay. Um, it, I, I I love not, not an ad. Not an ad. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, Rock Auto, please sponsor us because we need all the parts. Yeah. But one cool thing you get with Rock Auto is they send you these magnets, these refrigerator magnets. Yes. And one of them really stood out to me. I really liked it. It is um so basically or just order parts for your car from Rock Auto. Do it. It's really cheap and great. But they send you these cool magnets. This is uh, Brent's jeep built with rock auto parts look at this badass jeep uh comanche oh that's awesome right yeah yeah so these are real like customer cars that they submit yeah to rock auto for the magnets there's like here's a studebaker uh, oh, i love these right i i saw one today oh, in a parking lot the yeah front end is so weird and right cool. yeah that is Art Deco going up Art Deco's own butthole. It's fantastic. Uh, here's uh, Diedrich's Corvair. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Right? But, yeah, you, you get all these magnets. They're cool to collect, right? You can tell how effed up your car is by how many Rock Auto magnets you have. Yeah, well, you got right? a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is you. half this the side of my refrigerator sweet. is Rock Auto magnets. Yeah, Triumph. And then this is probably my favorite one that I've gotten. Steve's Nissan. Look at that. Just a mint clean cherry 300 Z. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. For anybody who doesn't know, uh, the 300 Z featured prominently in the film blind date with Bruce Willis. That was a good movie. Look at you learning how multiple <laughs> camera angles work. Anyway. Yeah. So I got some parts for rock auto that you've heard about in other episodes when I effed up my wheel bearing and I thought I screwed up the whole thing, but turned out it was just a wheel set. And you, what I do, I fixed it with a goddamn hammer. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So rock auto. Good job. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Dave. What are we going to talk about today? Um, you've got some randomness. Randomness you want to talk about? I do. About? I have random nips is what you said. Random nips. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, well, those as well. Okay. Random nips. And then uh, we're going to talk about uh, a new hot new car called the Austin Brexit. Yes. And, um, and we're going to talk about Tesla a little bit. We certainly are. And then I have an anecdote. Good job, man. You nailed Thanks, it. Thanks, buddy. I'm proud of you. Ian taught me how to say words, everybody. <laughs> uh, first up, Ian. I, I have three my eyes, okay? I don't think any of them are particularly rage-inducing, so we can go ahead and okay. just breathe a collective sigh of relief. That's good, because okay. uh, we've had a bad run of just, yeah. like, yeah. perplexing uh -huh. slash enraging yeah. these are just observations. These lately. are just more like, this is just people being people, right? Okay. So it's first a welcome change. First up, we have a Toyota Sequoia, Okay. right? And let me kick it over so the internet can see the browser. Uh, and here's one of the most ungainly cars. Yes, ever. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Appropriately named for the size. Uh -huh. This is this person's license plate. Blue Sky. B-L-E-U-S-K-Y. Huh. So like cheese sky? Oh, yeah. Salad dressing sky? Yeah. Blue Sky. I it's mean, a blue sky in France. There you go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, that's just people being people. Yeah, well, right? I would thought we were going to hear a theory about this weird-ass dent. Oh, wow, yeah. No, they certainly put their tailgate up while the garage door was coming down or something like that, right? I think that was backed into something. I, it could very well be. What was the shape of the thing that they backed into? Right, but the bumper's okay. Exactly. Yeah, see, we're just... See, you said that there weren't going to be very many questions. Oh, uh, then we see it, we start picking it apart. And then it, I'm thinking, the things happen. You know the uh, metal track on a garage door opener? I uh -huh. bet they had the, the hood up and the garage door was coming down and hit that. But yeah. wouldn't it just push the the tailgate down? No, no, no. You know that, like, the L bracket that kind of hangs down with yeah, the emergency yeah, yeah. release, oh. right, for a garage door opener? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I would have to see how far up it goes. Yeah, right? But that could be it. Hmm. That That's not a right? bad theory. Right? Because yeah. kind of towards the middle. Maybe you didn't park your Sequoia right in the middle of your garage, assuming yeah. you could even get it in. True. Yeah. Yeah. True. That's a good theory. So besides Toyota's the blue sky, the French sky, Toyota Sequoia, I saw this Chevy Impala mm -hmm. with an odd sticker on the back of it. It says, got Donnie Wahlberg. 
What? As in like New Kids on the Block, Donny Wahlberg. Yeah. And I found someone on Amazon selling these stickers. Two reviews, five <laughs> stars. <laughs> <laughs> two reviews. Yep, two <laughs> reviews. Both five stars. Yeah. Yep. One said, um, shipped fast. You know, the other one was like, my GF couldn't believe that I found something that uh had Donnie Wahlberg on it. Long live NKOTB. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh huh. I just want to posit a theory here. Uh huh. Really yeah. Quick. Yeah. And and that is if you were ever to go missing or, you know, die under mysterious, uh-huh. shady circumstances. Me? Uh-huh. Yeah. You, okay. And investigators needed to piece together uh-huh. your whereabouts. Yeah. Yeah. They could start with the Google searches you do at nine o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. as soon as you get to your Google computer. And then through traffic cameras. Yeah. Yeah. Figure out where you were. Right. From just the, even if they didn't get you right. on the way to work. They would see that fucked up Mercedes S600 that's a fakie. Right. They right. They would see right. that and that would be, oh, okay, so that ties to this. Mm-hmm. And they could figure out the order in which you saw these things by yeah. by your Google searches. Yeah. And you could piece together your whole fucking day. Yep. You could dox all of me. Just from that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Th- if that, if, if you ever go missing uh-huh. and I get a call from a detective, I'm yeah. going to say, quick, to figure, the Google. Look at what he was Googling. Uh huh. And then we, we can work from there. There's going to be a wealth of information. Just discard all the taffy. Those searches are just in there. Yeah. Yeah. They're, those are noise. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's basically the- what you're doing when you hit enhance. For for a day of Google search. That's the background radiation of my browsing history. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna Google, "Can you overdose on sugar?" Like seven to eight times a day. Just don't worry about it. Just that has no bearing on anything else. Craigslist searches for Sob Biggins. Ignore those. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are standard. Yep, exactly. I like that. I like that. Uh, then the third, my eyes thing that I saw was a Honda Accord with fender mirrors, like a new Honda Accord. But also. <laughs> other mirror but also normal mirrors but also normal mirrors <laughs> so they just like tack these like oh my god fender mirrors on the front and i don't know if they like clip into the hood or what but they have fender mirrors <laughs> way out on the front of their honda accord <laughs> yeah i've had this picture for months and i keep forgetting <laughs> to show it to you that's yeah. amazing yeah yeah the fender mirrors are a lot less cool when there are also mirrors on the a <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> Look at that. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you remove the other mirrors? Uh, b- Well, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's there are other questions right. there as well. Yeah, why would you put the fender mirrors? And also, why those fender mirrors? Right, they're, they look... They look like soup cans that you turned into fender mirrors. They look terrible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for ruining fender mirrors, modern Honda Accord owner. Oh, one, of, one of the most beloved things about all of automotiveness... Yeah, and it's it, they ruined it, Ian. Oh, that's again, that's more questions than right? answers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, buddy. I don't know. So those are those. It's are, amazing we don't get into more accidents. You're exactly right. This Just, was this was at a full stop at a stoplight taken by my intern. Well, but then you have you're distracted for hours after right, this. Right, right. Yeah, at least mentally. Yeah. yeah. Why is three? At, at least emotionally. Why is three indeed? <laughs> exactly. Ian. Yeah. Why did you run that car off the road? Well, they had these really fucked up fender mirrors. <laughs> oh, right this yeah. way, sir. Yeah. So, yeah. Ian, what 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 else do you want to talk about besides my my maddening photos? Uh, I wanted to talk about something that we saw on the internet today. Okay. All right. I think it's we think we tried to I think that's an infection. You should have that looked at. Well, your that, WebMD search. That was <laughs> That was the other thing. That and what you uploaded to Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that was done in confidence, Dave. Uh, no, I'm talking about the Austin Brexit, which yes. is this hilarious yes. thing that's been floating around for months. Yeah, that we just now found about. We just now found out about it. We just we tried to like reverse engineer like yeah. where it came from. Yeah, we can't find it. Reddit sometime in April 2017, I think, yeah. is where we kind of landed on that. Um, but... Um, it's this hilarious, like, fake, old-school... Um, advertisement. Advertisement for... Advert. Advert for a 
a fake car called the Austin Brexit. Yes. Um, and basically, it's just mocking uh, the the Leave voters of of Britain and Brexit. Yes. And for anyone who doesn't know, Brexit was the e- the UK voted in 2016 in like mid 2016, like June, I think, to leave the UK uh, to leave the EU. Yes. Which is a fucking horrendous, terrible situ- terrible decision. With all sorts of consequences, uh, for all sorts of reasons, which we won't go into here, but does give me an excuse to go on a bit of a rant. Let's talk okay. about the let's talk about the Austin Brexit itself first. Can you just yes. pull up the picture of it? So th- this yeah. was the earliest blog we could find. Yeah, a gentleman uh, named Mark Pack. We think. Maybe. Yeah, we think. Yeah, open view image. Yeah, view image. There we go. Boom. Okay. Enhance. 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 There we go. There it is. So the basically, Austin it's Brexit. it's a <laughs> it's these old you know the old seventies car ads where yeah. there was like a, a splashy headline yeah and a picture of the car and then just just a whole of bunch text, of shit yeah whole wall yeah. of text but it's really really funny I intru- I encourage you to go uh, look at it and it really does mock the idea of uh, you know. We're gonna do everything ourselves, and we're yep. gonna cut ourselves yep. off from the world, and we have no benefit from from the outside of the world, and we're not connected to anybody else. Right? I I can only see three inches past the end of my nose. Exactly. Exactly. Just past the smoking hood of my car. Right. Yeah. And so this gives me an excuse to talk about uh, politics for a second. Okay. But I'm going to bring it back to cars as I always uh uh Almost do. lie about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to bring it back to cars and a kind of a, a a cleaning house self-examination of of things that we do. Okay, sure. We on this show and also we as Oh, okay. as uh, car enthusiasts in general. Yeah. So Brexit and voting for I'm just gonna oh, go ahead and put yeah. a dollar in the swear jar. For yeah, me. I'm sorry, I brought it. I'm bringing up our president on the show, and yeah, we tr- whenever we do that, we put a dollar in the it swear feels jar. Feels so dirty just to even call him that. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So, the people who voted for our president and the people who voted for Brexit yes. had similar motivations, and we're not that we're by far, far from the first people to uh, to come up with this observation. But basically, the idea behind that. Is that the, it's a reactionary? Yes. Yeah. Uh, politics and reactionary in your politics means that you are uh, essentially pining for a, a previous good old days. This is the whole again in "Make America Great Again." Yes. It, right. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That is a very. It's a reactionary the fact motivation. That, that word in is in there says so much. Right. About the motivations and a lot of other people who are very way 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 smarter than us um, have talked about how um you know basically reactionary uh politics are anathema to uh to liberal democracy for a whole variety of reasons you know not the least of which is the good old days for you know white males straight white males right we're seldom the good old days for anybody else (laughs) exactly right which is you know that is part of it and that's part of the you know the 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 backlash that contributed to to both of both of these campaigns, both Leave and, yeah. and the Trump campaign. Um, and at the root of it, though, at the root of reactionary politics is, you know, nostalgia, right? Basically, right? yeah, yeah. And here's where I'm going to bring it, kind of back to cars. In a second, <laughs> but it's also there's also this this aversion to, um, as a shifting of the power in a weird way as people of like m- our generation uh-huh. our age and yeah. younger uh-huh. are flocking back to cities like yes. we did yeah we both moved made very conscious decisions yep. to move out of suburbs yep and into, into cities. cities yep um and we are part of a huge trend uh, in doing that and that has hastened the decline of you know the suburbs and the rural areas and and all of that and that's a huge part of the the chip on the shoulder too is that and that also plays back into the nostalgia of like well in the 50s and 60s we had these, right all these thriving small town centers right communities and yeah absolutely right and what people 
don't think about now is that when you go now to smaller cities or you, you know even smaller cities or or larger suburbs or or these rural communities you know now those mom and i i in my daily life walk to more mom and pop establishments right right in a city center right than anyone who lives in a small town will right. ever do right you're exactly right you know yeah. and it it's it's really funny that that all of these things have flipped where you know the now the drug problems are in the country right right and the city centers are like where the mom and pop right and small communities right. are kind of springing up yeah them, yeah walmart them. is in colby kansas but not in like an urban center right yeah yeah right so all of that is to say that we also in car culture especially in driving enthusiasm yeah, yeah. are we we risk falling into this trap of where nostalgia can be somewhat of a healthy thing and, sure, and certainly sure. a sense of history and oh yeah an appreciation for the things that were good yep um and how we got to the things that were good and yeah who shared in it and who didn't a right. knowledge is a very healthy thing to have but where it starts to you know kind of uh fall over that fine line back to uh being reactionary we kind of risk that with like the save the manuals thing and, yeah um you know fighting against any um, we've talked about before, like the the Clarkson ish right attitude towards climate change and right uh, and autonomous vehicles as well right right and it, it it just struck me as like reading reading that yeah like you could almost you could almost see a niche and people have I think Alex Roy was talking about this as well like uh, uh you can see an, a niche. Uh, of car market springing up just to cater to, yeah. you know, it, essentially that's what Morgan does, right? Right, right, exactly, yeah. But it's a small contained enough yeah. section of car culture that it doesn't, like, spread and infect and right. stall progress for everyone else. Right, right, right. Nobody el- nobody is running around saying, no, you need to put automatic seatbelts in all of these things. Right. Right. And so that's where I'm going with this connection is that I think where the that l- that line is, it's similar to uh, uh, mandatory vaccination policies. OK. Uh huh. So when we were growing up, you know, we always had religious exemptions for for um, compulsory vaccination of children. Right. 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 And it wasn't a big deal because it was such a small percentage of right, the population. Right, exactly, exactly. That it was, yeah, that smallpox was still, right. You know, it, yeah, w- it was basically a co- eliminated. Yeah, it was a yeah, it was a cost that we could definitely, right, uh, uh, bear because we still had herd immunity. Right, but then there you go. Yeah, herd immunity. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. And I yeah. So so but then you know, people started listening to fucking Jenny McCarthy. That's the one. Yeah, and. And now it's a larger percent of the population. Yeah. And now they're basically ruining it for the small niche section right. Right. that were flying under the radar before. Exactly. Because now we're going to have to have compulsory that the only way out of this mess to so we don't have thousands of kids dying of measles every year. Right. Right. Is to go with compulsory vaccinations. Right. Now, right. Right. And so I think. Um, uh, we now have to worry about the herd immunity for there you go. nostalgia, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Where once we get past this certain point, and I think the tipping point is it's fine to hang on to the things from the past and value them over progress as long as you don't impede progress for everyone else. Okay, yeah, y- as long as you don't compromise the herd. <coughs> exactly. Right, okay, okay. And All I right. want to be clear that I mean like, progress that it that does have a goal like i'm not right, saying right. like you know there are certain features on cars that i do not think solve a problem at all and are just right. progress for progress sake push button starts right 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 or or apps right, right. to unlock my i think that is a really dumb stupid idea uh physical Physical well, security is way underrated in our society well, right now. They have to have the app because then how do they sell you on the cloud subscription? Uh, right. And cloud yeah. subscription for a car is also a really fucking stupid idea. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's a that's a 
rant for that's an old man rant for another time. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about how old man rants have no place in car <laughs> culture. <laughs> Let's stay on track here. Okay. All right. But so so basically what I'm saying is there if we know that there's a clear benefit to a technology, let's say self-driving cars. Right, right. And we pig-headedly stand in the way of that. Right. Then we end up looking like an Austin, Austin Brexit, Brexit. Yep. owner. Yep, you're exactly right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So right. that's that was my Charlie right talking about the conspiracy and the, yes and the mail red, red yarn yeah connecting it together yeah um idea so i mean I, I don't know what do you think do you do you think that we have any any pet causes of like you know i you know hydraulic steering or right or manual transmission cars or or just driving in general right where we risk impeding progress and laudable goals of you know, reducing of, of safety right. or efficiency emissions. or emissions yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, I think, I think racings, uh, like the, what, what we do for racing as far as um, emissions control, because like just being able to run open emission, no emissions equipment on, on tracks, I think is kind of a, you know, like if we all ran catalytic converters, then we'd all be downscaled in the same manner, you know, kind of thing. Right. right. You know, that kind of stuff, um, but that that's pretty minor because it doesn't. Well, the catalytic converter doesn't really do that much, right? Benefit for wide open throttle, right? It's more for like not hot engines and and cold starts, right? Right. It's, it's, yeah. It's to get particulates out that aren't being burned, right? Uh, am I, am it, I wrong? It, I it works be better. It. You have to have it hot in order for it to work. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's well, why you should never start your car and then get an emissions tested in Denver. They always say drive it around for 10, 15 minutes first. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know because to an automotive corporation like say BMW, in order for them to justify offering a manual transmission on say like the five series, there's going to have to be sufficient consumer demand, right? Yeah. And then I think a lot of times what happens is the consumer demand does not translate to sales. Right. And corporations have been burned on that too many times. Well, let's 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 leave that aside. Let's let's assume that that for the sake of this argument, that either there's enough, you know, buying power with right. the enthusiast community to justify whatever it is that we okay. want to do. OK. You know, or or, you know, journalists have enough influence over the buying right. public to to make that. Let, let's leave that part out. OK. OK. But. Just the our act of insisting on these things, right? When when do we need to worry about impeding impeding progress for all the people who don't give a shit about heel towing? Yeah, so it would certainly be something like uh, like you mentioned, hydraulic steering that would impede the limit of a a potential autonomous feature on a car, right? Right. Yeah. Um, obviously with the Acura RLX thing, uh, that we talked about in that other show where it just decided to steer to the right on its own, yeah. that's kind of horrifying, but yeah, yeah so there, there's that mm -hmm. like hydraulic steering things that would actually cause a physical limitation in, in forward progress. Right. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What, do you have any other examples that you've thought of? Um, I, you know, the other, the, the thing that I, kind of keep coming back to is like internal combustion versus electric okay okay yeah and our yeah. insistence on like a cool sounding car right right turning dinosaurs into fun yeah and you know that's the whole reason i still have my car yeah <laughs> is that i love the way that it sounds essentially right, you right. Know? yeah um and and it, it is just a huge part of of the driving experience yeah yeah Oh, that's a good point. The sounds, yeah, making vroom vroom noises. Right. Yeah. And it it will impede. I mean, that will necessarily mean that the car is not electric. Right. Right. It right. sounds really cool. Yeah. In a natural way. Um, yeah, I don't know. And huh. But I don't yeah. I think that we're probably a small enough group. Yeah. That we're basically the Christian scientists. Right, right. Of yeah. the car buying world, yeah. right? Yeah. Leave us in our reading rooms. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But right. we don't want to be Brexiters. Exactly. We don't want to obstruct. 
Yeah. yeah. So I don't it's know. A, it's, a, it's a fine line that I think needs that has to be walked when we start talking about these I, things. I, I think that for you and I, I think it's a little bit easier for us to walk it than somebody that might be more steeped in nostalgia um, or l- like um, a Jimmy Buffett fan, basically. <laughs> right. Somebody that's more old school right. than us. Right. Yeah. You know, for because like we see t- a lot of technology as progress, you know? Yeah. And we're not afraid of it. So, like, right. my mom has a Ford Edge, right? Mm-hmm. The fo- the it, It's pretty new. The Ford Edge has a, a self-park p- feature for um, parallel parking and for, like, head-in, uh, like, you know, grocery oh, wow. store parking lot. S- self-park, boom. You hit the button, bam, park. Yeah. She would not use it. She will not use it no matter what. She'll never use it. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Right? I mean, to be honest, I probably wouldn't either. Well, if you, like, why not? It's just right there. You know, like, I don't boom. Know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can right. park. Yeah. I, I am such an awful parker. I Sometimes I get out of the car and I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> did, did I have a seizure? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, was my morning coffee laced with PCP? <laughs> I've gotten out of my car, looked at it, and then gotten back in and fixed the problem. Well, good for you on that. Because I've seen... We've all seen that where oh, people either get just out, don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, that's one thing, but if you get out and look and clearly yeah. notice, right, right, and then walk away anyway, that's right. way worse. Yeah, yeah, right. Than being oblivious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but like she'll never use it. You know, she like we, but we wouldn't be afraid of using that kind of technology. Is what I'm saying. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you just use it because you just don't want to hit the button, right? It's probably right. buried in some fucking settings menu anyway. Yeah. Right? But, I mean, when I drove that Corvette uh-huh. Grand Sport, yeah. the first thing I did was turn off rev matching. Right, right, right. Yeah. I don't really have a good reason. Right. Other we, than I know how to heel toe and I right. like enjoy doing it. And I turned it on because I don't and I need that. Uh, yeah. So, you know. Yeah. It would probably do a better job than me. Right. Yeah. But I don't want it to. <laughs> right, right. But you're not going to rally around something that would impede the progress of having that. Right. I something. wouldn't get that banned. I wouldn't get yeah. that feature banned. Right, exactly. I would lobby for uh, the ability to turn, turn it, it off. off. Right, right. Um, but that's different. Yeah, I think that I think that that's an op- that some something like that where it comes down to an option over a like whether or not the feature even exists. Right. right. That's the language that we need to adopt. Right. And thankfully, with technology, it's pretty easy. You turn a Boolean from zero to one. Yeah. Somewhere. Right? right. Unless you're Volkswagen, then you turn a Boolean from zero to seventy nine. Which shouldn't be possible. <laughs> exactly. But they figured out a way. <laughs> right. For no reason. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I, I think that's the that's <clears throat> the approach. Well, and also individual opt out. Right. Rather than group level agreement opt out right right, right. You're, you're not forcing other people to opt out or opt into something that they don't want. right and we would never say nissan should not be selling the nissan murano cross cabriolet we would say we wouldn't buy a nissan murano cross cabriolet yeah. we need an, a way to identify crazy people mm-hmm. when we see them in public and that's one way that is one that is right that is a way <laughs> right to do yeah. that correct yeah. yeah so when when it comes to something that's made up of a greater like something greater than just an option when it comes to like the fundamental underpinnings of a car like a tesla versus you know your car right yeah Yeah. quiet wafting versus your you know boy racer brat brat brapping yeah right well and also the tesla is way faster exactly like an order of magnitude faster We'll we'll see that's a that's kind of another point because like if you're hooked on it's the it's better s- in every single way. If you're hooked on the sound of your car, right? Uh-huh. Somebody could give you a car that was fast enough for the right price where you'd be like, "Yeah, I don't care about the sound anymore." I don't know that that's the case. Like if if somebody gave you like a car that like met all of these incredible requirements, was super fast, handled magically, like but, but it had no sound. But it had no sound. Right? Would you take that over your R32? And I wouldn't be allowed to have the R32 anymore. No. I mean, you... you I, don't, I don't know that I would. You could only buy one car, right? Yeah, I don't know that I would. I don't know. 
I, I honestly don't. You know. You could go zero to sixty in like half a second. I, I don't know. I don't know, Dave. It's I don't, basically, I don't know. it's basically a fun button turned into a car. I mean, I. It gives you a handy at every stoplight. I've had I've had my car for uh, seven and a half years. Okay. And in that time, I very easily could have had faster cars. Sure. Um, but I don't. Right, you don't. I don't think I'm going to. It, but everybody has their price. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Right? right. Probably. Yeah. Yes. Because I mean, especially as it ages, you know. Yeah. Right? Well, you know. Yeah. It's going to die soon. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> anyway. If we do anything, we keep things on their last legs. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Our <laughs> cars are the equivalent of, like, the uh, Shih Tzu with, with the back legs that don't work anymore <laughs> on the little wheelie carts. Yeah. And you're like, it's a dog. Well, like, I was going to say that we were, we were essentially hospice care workers. <laughs> For cars, I think you're right. I think you're right. I've never sold a car. We, oh yeah, I've never yeah. sold a car. I have, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. just you've they've just been totaled, yeah, or given away, yeah, or burned to the ground, yeah, pretty much. The, I I saw an eighteen wheeler uh, caught on fire on I seventy today. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Ugh. yeah. All right. So all anyway. that talk of reactionary politics and nostalgia and everything else brings yes. me to an FMK cars. Okay. FMK Cars is a game that Ian and I play on the show. It's based on the classic game, Fuck, Mary Kill. In this game, F uh, means you hit it and quit it. You only get to drive it for a day. M means you marry it. It is your daily driver, Austin Brexit and all. Uh, K means you kill it. You send it to the crusher immediately. Ian, what cars do you have for <clears throat> me to FMK t- today? The other part of FMK Cars is is coming up with the title. And honestly, if I'm, if I'm being oh completely boy. honest... Oftentimes, I enjoy that way more than writing the, the actual the FMK actual cars. FMK cars. Okay. Um, and today is no different because I have outdone myself. This is all. Are, are you the one that proclaims be outdoing yourself? Shouldn't other people tell you that in you've outdone yourself? Mm, I think I got a handle on it. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm comfortable. I'm okay. comfortable saying that I got it. I did okay. it. Okay. I done did it. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, would you like... <coughs> yeah. I need like a lozenge. Yeah, a Ricola, if you will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, So this is, again, inspired by our just previous ramblings of nostalgia and... and politics. And politics and, and reactionary and all that. This one's called, They Don't Make Them Like They Used To. Subtitle. <laughs> and this subtitle is all one sentence. Nostalgia is a garbage emotion, and it sure as everlasting fuck has no place in our politics, because that's how people get hurt. And to be quite honest, it's not much fucking better for car design, since that's how, since that's how we ended up with the goddamn PT Cruiser, Chevy HHR, SN95 Mustang, the entire godforsaken subculture of Harley dweebs, and everything else that was made with the sole intention of squeezing every last dime out of the baby boomers' fading memories, since they obviously have no fucking intention on using those resources to make the world a better place for their children's generation. Wow. These are just old crappy cars. <laughs> That's it. Ian. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Do you want to ride shotgun to my next therapy session? <laughs> the, uh, you're at. You're at my therapy section. <laughs> I have bad news for you. Then why will you not let me collect a copay? I'm on your plan. 1971. Okay. Chevy Vega. Oh yeah. yeah. Let me just sh- rusted away yeah. immediately. Let me show the internet. engines just failed just randomly. Yeah. It was not. It was not a successful. No, engine. man, that's a good picture of one though. That is a good picture. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Chevy Vega. Also, 1971, Ford Pinto. Oh boy! Just exploding gas tanks. And yeah, not, 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 not a successful. Boy, there's some artsy pictures of these things. All right, go yeah. on. Yeah, you know why? Why? Nostalgia. Nostalgia. It it's through the nostalgia filter <laughs> in Instagram. <laughs> the only reason, yeah, that anyone would care about those. 1976 Chevy Chevette. Oh. Chevette. Okay. 
Everything was better. Everything old was better. Oof. Here's here's their ad for it. A new kind of American car. Yeah. Yeah. Miles per gallon highway forty. Huh. Engine one point four liter. That thing had to scream. Yep. Yep. The prices start at two thousand eight hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yep. Okay. Um oh boy. Oh, Ian. Well, Oh man, I don't know Chevy Vega. Um, okay, I'm going to for a day drive the Chevy Vega. Okay. I will install an arcade cabinet inside of the Chevy Vega. Okay. It will be Street Fighter Two Arcade Edition. All right. I will play only as the character Vega. <laughs> <laughs> really want to play as Chun Li? I like it. But I'm gonna play as Vega. Also, you said there was two twenty nine hundred dollars. Yeah, for, for the, the Chevette. Yeah, what's that in in 2017 dollars? Uh, twelve thousand five hundred. Nissan Versa. Yeah. 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 Right. So yeah. That, che- that checks out. Um. Then I am going to marry the Pinto because I think it's the best looking of the bunch, and I'm going. You to think it's better looking than the Vega? I do. Okay. I do. I think you're. Not correct. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And then I'm going to kill the Chevette. Okay. What would you do? Yeah, that's a mercy killing. I think I would also kill the Chevette. Right. I think I would marry the Vega because I like actually like the way that the Vega looks better more than the. Yeah. More than the. um, I think it it is a pretty car. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, there's the Vega wagon. Yeah, the Vega. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'd marry the Vega and okay. uh, drive the Pinto for a day. Okay. All right. What would you do in a Pinto for a day? Demolition Derby, obviously. Okay. All Just right. explode in a huge <laughs> ball of fire. Go flag drop, boom. Yep, exactly. Yeah. No cars even hit him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. I like that, Ian. Uh, you have outdone yourself on the title end, Ian. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Well Thank done. You. I'm, glad I, I'm glad I got through it. Um, relatively unscathed. So, so I was at one of our offices at, at work the other day, and I noticed a coworker's keychain, right? Okay. And this is something we do. We look at the car fobs on the keychain, right? Yeah. And yeah. he had basically the opposite of your keychain. Now, key we, chain. We, we have talked about this in the past, and you really should stop doing that when they're in someone's pocket. <laughs> you really got to stop I just, it. I get in there, and Sp- I fish around. Especially at work. You can't Sometimes do that. Sometimes you find candy. That is going to be a, an unpleasant conversation with HR. An unpleasant or a series of unpleasant <laughs> conversations <laughs> with HR? Ian. Yes. But basically, this individual uh, had the opposite keychain that you have. Oh, okay. So you have a Saab and a VW. Yeah. What do you think theirs was? A Saab and a VW. Um, like... A Honda and a Toyota. You're exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow, that's like the most reliable keychain combination <laughs> ever assembled. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I, I have a Toyota truck and uh, you know, and I, that I just got. I've always wanted a truck, so I, I got a Toyota truck, and I have a Honda Accord for commuting. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's adventurous. Very boring, but also very reliable. Yeah. So I'm giving you an FMK car, Ian. Okay. This is... Uh, I don't have a title. This is the antithesis of I had title enough for all of us, I think. Yeah, you exactly did, Ian. Okay, all right. Ian, first up, you're going to get a pair of cars, okay? Okay. All right, so first up, you get, Ian, a Toyota pickup and a Honda Accord Coupe V6, okay? Okay. Toyota pickup. The Honda Accord uh, Coupe V6 is a really- It's uh, kind of a cool car, right? It's a cool little package, Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to give you my buddy Chris had a couple of those. Nice. Nice. I'm going to give you like a sure, like an old T100. Okay. Right. All right. Sure. Okay. And um, yeah, here, let's uh, pop that over. And then a Honda Accord Coupe. I actually kind of like the Accord Coupe, right? Yeah. Were you at the at the track day with with me when there was a guy there who had an Accord Coupe? No. And he had like. Uh, it was a V6. And it was a manual you could make them very fast. He had. He hadn't done 
any chassis work, but okay. except for these just ridiculous. Um, what's the real rays? He had a oh a set yeah, of, like rays wheels on it. Wow. Okay. So essentially, he had more into the wheels than, than he did the car. into the rest yeah. of the car. Yeah. Um, and it like just overheated <laughs> like lap two like the oh, brakes okay. were just completely boiled and on fire sure sure uh, it was pretty funny anyway. nice nice but he had the raised wheels but those wheels were r- uh, ridiculous oh yeah, yeah 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 okay second infinity infinity q x 80 what yep Oh no! Yep, the big ugly oh, the infinity, the ugliest car for sale today. You kn- and but you know what else is on your keychain? Oh. An old ratty Nissan key. Oh, a Nissan Pulsar. Yes, the old one. Can I get the a Pulsar wagon? Yes, yeah, sure. I want the Pulsar. Yes, there's a yeah. Pulsar. Yeah, there you go. Fuck yeah. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. All right. Okay. And then lastly, Ian, mm-hmm. you get a Ford Astro <laughs> minivan. Okay. Astro van. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, let's see. Is that it, well, you mean, so there was the Ford Aerostar, and then there was the the GM. Oh, yeah. What was, was the, the Astro? Aer- was the Astro. There was a, a Chevy Astro. Chevy Astro van. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. You get the Chevy Astro van. Yeah. All right. And then on... On the other end of the key fob, you get a set of go kart keys. <laughs> keys. Uh huh. Keys. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Hmm. Did, did the you, Astro would actually make a pretty sweet like. You could like stack you go karts. Uh huh. Yeah. You could gut it. That. Put some plywood shelving in there. It'd be pretty cool, actually. Uh huh. Right? But you'd have to deal with an Astro. Yeah. Yeah. There are worse vans. True. Um, hmm. Astro, the van that drives like a van. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to crush the Accord and the Toyota. Okay. All right. Just too boring. Too reliable. Too okay. boring. Okay. Not right. interesting enough for this game. Okay. I will. Oh, this is now. This is tough. Look at that ugly ass Infinity. It's horrendous. This is w- the grossest vehicle on sale today. Yeah, it's worse. But it's more obscene looking than a G wagon. Yeah, but you see them everywhere. I know. Infinity fucking sold them like crazy. Yeah, they're yeah. everywhere in Denver. I don't yeah. know about everywhere else, but oh, <sighs> yeah. And also, why wouldn't you just buy the Armada? Right. Like it looks like a normal car. Yeah, but this it's looks like you put the Armada in a microwave for twenty minutes. It looks like a pufferfish. It does. Yeah. 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 It's awful. That was drowned and beaten yeah. by someone. Yeah. It's awful. <sighs> um. Okay. So. But you get the pulsar. The pulsar is kind of cool for a day, but. Okay. Here's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm marrying the Astro. Okay. And the go kart. Okay. All right. I think that's that's great. Like that is a that is a full. Go to the track, sleep at the track, work on your go kart at the track. Right. That's a full package vehicle. It is. That's it is. now a race car transporter. That's not an old minivan. Right. Right. So that's cool. Okay. So okay. I'm marrying that. Sure. Sure. Um, and then I'll just be a track bum at go kart tracks all around the country. There you go. And then for a day, I'm gonna drive the Pulsar. That's not water. That's oil underneath it. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I'm gonna drive the Pulsar yeah. for 23 hours of the day. Okay. All right. And then on the 24th hour, I'm just gonna crash the Pulsar into, into the Infinity, the Infinity, and make the Infinity better looking. You're exactly right. Yeah. 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 Right. You'd also bounce off of it, but well, yeah. yeah, and die yeah. horrendous death. But yeah, it'd be worth it. it yeah. What well, What would you do there? I think you nailed it, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. I uh yeah, the the Honda and Toyota Glad com- we're in agreement then. Combination is uh Yes, we're done here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no conflict, no story. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Shutting the podcast down. <laughs> <laughs> and it's taken a hundred and whatever episodes to finally reach that. Yeah, exactly. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> um yeah, I, uh, the Infinity Man, it's just so I was wondering if I could give you an older car that was cool enough. And I actually, yeah, 
I had a Nissan Pulsar in there before we talked about it on the other show. And uh, it was because I saw like a gold yellowish one at um, AutoZone that must have been like one of the employee cars Mm -hmm. because it was in tip top shape and had fantastic wheels. Okay. Yeah, look great. Huh. Look great. Look well taken care of. Awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. As if someone had line on a consistent amount of parts for it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it, it and and it's so cool to see somebody take care of a car like that. Yeah. Right? Which is like Cuz you're not doing it just like that's not an investment yep. at this point. No. Not at all. It's no, just, not at all. It's it's just this is what I have. I'm going to make the best of it. Yeah. Right? It's it's like the Mr. Regular uh thing about the Subaru SV SVX. SVX, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's it's like it's a little love letter. And you there know? are people that yeah. are that are maintaining those to a absurd degree yeah. as well. Yeah. You see them every once in a while, you see your super clean SVXs, and yep. it's like, oh. Yeah. You have serious mental problems. <laughs> but I like it. I'd rather see that than an Infinity QX eighty seventy Ab- times over. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. So completely. Ian, what else we got to talk about? Um, so we don't know when this is coming out. We don't. So we are doing a really good service to everyone by talking about very topical news. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Don't get your news from us, folks. No, because this is going to be several weeks late. Guess I'm what? Guessing, at least. Carter's still not in office. Oh, what? I know. I know. They made him sell his peanut farm and they everything. They did. They did. Um, so uh, Tesla came out... Uh, this last week when we're recording this probably yeah. a long time ago now yes um but the it was ostensibly a uh a launch for the the tesla semi and that was right. what was pitched yep uh, and that's a, a really cool uh, pretty re- revolutionary thing although the interior design is pretty ridiculous yeah um but everyone was surprised because at the end of it um elon musk launched essentially or announced the Tesla Roadster. Right. And so everyone is, you know, the, all of the machinations of like the normal automotive press news cycle around Tesla announcements is like in full swing right now. Yeah. And I, yeah. I can't remember which backlash of the backlash of the backlash we're on. Right, right. But it's on one of those. Right, right. Already. And it's only a couple of days later. Yeah, yeah. Um, And it's just. Like the, the crazy cycle, of, of highs and lows. Yeah. With a Tesla story. Uh huh. Is just insane. Run me through some highs. Run me through some lows. So it's essentially like if you took your kid to the playground. Right? Okay. Uh huh. And you put him on the swing. All right. First of all, I find a child. Okay. Find check. find just a ra- anyone will do. It doesn't <laughs> okay. really matter. All right. Okay. And you just took him up on the swing. And you just <laughs> fucking just pushed it as hard as you could. Okay. All right. And, you know, for going forward is a positive story. Going back is a negative story. Okay. That just that just continues until it attenuates. Okay. And then Elon Musk comes back and, and just shoves, shoves, shoves him again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. All right. That's and, and they have it nailed to where right at the point where it just attenuates just about to zero. Uh-huh. Just, just shoves it again. Start all over again. Okay. And then okay. you have another bored child in this analogy. Right. For a very long time. Okay. And to be honest, I feel like th- this attenuation cycle that we're on is starting to get a little exhausting. Okay. Around Tesla, don't you think? Yeah. 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 You know, like the whole th- around the the Roadster is a good yeah. example. Okay. Because the claims that he made were pretty outrageous. Yeah. Yeah. Like zero to sixty in one point nine seconds, 9 seconds yeah. a range of like six hundred miles, and, yeah. And basically, he's saying like it's essentially the fastest production car available, and right. all this other stuff. And then they have the <laughs> the the balls basically to say it's going to cost two hundred thousand dollars, which is fine sure, for those sure. stats. I mean, yeah. that, that's that's acceptable, I guess. But then, like, oh, you can, you know, you can put a reservation down for. Fifty thousand dollars, you can give us some unsecured capital. <laughs> wow. Okay. You know. Okay. To work with, and they're in the middle of a launch of another, pr- and so now the so everyone's freaking out about those, and then right. the, it swings back pretty severely. Right. To hey, 
aren't you guys in the middle of the launch of another product? Right. Of that like you're having problems with the also the product that was the whole point of your company. Right. Exactly. From day one. From day one, it was, was to, to get, get to the model to an three affordable electric car. Right. Yeah. And you're behind. Yeah. And you've just announced like ten minutes ago. Right. Right. We were all standing right here. <laughs> yeah. The launch of another product. Right. Right. That you're gonna take resources for and it's just yeah i i'm a huge fan of what tesla is doing the me fact too. The, the what they've accomplished is amazing just the idea forget that they're evs or they're semi-autonomous right. or whatever right. you want to call them uh just the fact that it was an american new car company yeah yeah is astounding right and that's doing so many things right, styling and yeah, platforms and yeah, everything. But, but the, the but the Tesla. I mean, and and you know they have their problems, obviously. Right. But the Tesla news cycle is just yeah. the worst of it. I I I get it, and and I think that we're, the it was it's, I think I had a symptom of that of being fatigued by it, and I didn't even realize it because I saw the articles. I, I, we have a goddamn car show, Ian. I saw the articles for the Roadster and for the Semi. Mm -hmm. I didn't even read them. I was like, oh, Roadster and Semi. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't even want to hop into the swing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, I hate myself, so I did. Yeah. <laughs> and I will say, I will say that- uh, you, you get in the muck of I'm, these internet- Stories I, though I, I have you to do, do. I don't get it, man. Oh I man, just, I got to. I like it, a lot of times. I just keep it at arm's length, and I just it's just like punching the air in front of me, and I'm just like, look, yeah. like you're gonna tuck her out eventually. I go and give it a big hug, maybe slip it some tongue. It's just the whole <laughs> thing I do. I gotta get you in there. get in there, buddy. Get in there, yeah. But I will. I think. You know, there is some self-awareness, especially on the part of the media, about all this. And part of right, the, right. And a large part of it is that Tesla has very – they don't play the same game that we've talked about of, right. like, the access for, um, you know, for coverage thing. You know, they're, right. they're very right. much like yes. Ferrari where they very tightly control yeah. who has access to their cars. Yeah. And to a large extent, they're way more restrictive than even Ferrari is. Yes. Um, about like the circumstances under which you can be around their cars and yep. cover them and you know get access to them and the whole thing. Um, but you know, so I think the the media is, it, and so they kind of help create this like rush to get all these yeah. stories out. And then there's got to be hot takes, and then there's got to be reaction to the hot takes. And right, got to be super hot takes and blah blah blah, <laughs> and just. A, Oh, yeah. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of the news just in general. And then we, yeah. and then to deal with Tesla right. on top of it, it's not helpful. Um, but I will shout out to Travis Sikolsky, who he used to be at Jalopnik, and now he's, yeah. at, he's at Road and Track. And uh, he has is claiming credit for this headline for Road and Track's story okay. for uh, the, the Tesla uh, stuff. And <laughs> their headline is, Please click this story on Tesla, <laughs> which is shout out. I've been, been refresh Travis. If you're watching, I've been refreshing on your story uh -huh. to get you more page views because you deserve. Yeah, you deserve it for being right. honest about the yeah. Tesla clickbait. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, because that's what it breeds. It yep. breeds clickbait stories because yep. people are just rushing to get first on a yeah. car on two products that no one has driven or seen in real life. Right. Right. You know. Yeah. Um and yeah the sub the sub uh title is this is the last Tesla article you need to read today comma we swear <laughs> which is great um yeah so yeah and 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 so I have an FMK cars is there oh, anything okay. else you wanted to say about no no about it, that? no I I just I I I appreciate you calling out the fatigue for this kind of stuff because we are in just general news fatigue you and I are and yeah. like we're. Like it's, everyone, it's everyone exhausting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. it's yeah, and I think Tesla is making it worse, and they should stop it. <laughs> Fucking knock it off. We already got too much going on. Just save the planet already. You know, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine what it's like to be a Tesla employee? 
oh yeah it must be right it must be exhausting you're like oh we're doing that now <laughs> like they, you open up twitter and you're like oh god i guess we're doing this well i yeah better we're call building those. flying cars now yeah, okay yeah. he tweeted that today he yeah. was talking about making the roadster a flying car in the ne- in the third iteration it wow was like Dude. Better, better call the wife. It's going to be yet another long night. Exactly. Right? Right? Yeah. 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 Tesla, responsible for divorces across the <laughs> land. <laughs> and th- yeah, so that's why we're not covering the, the car itself in depth. Yeah. Because by yeah. the time this comes out, yeah. everyone's going to have read everything there right, is to know right. about it. Talking about the cycle's much more right. relevant to us. So and so my FMK cars okay. is a little lateral. Okay. So Jalopnik had a story on, and this is, you know, the, the inevitable, Elon Musk makes a crazy claim about uh-huh. some some previously unknown technology. you got to get an expert in, right. interview them about evaluating it, with, and they haven't seen the actual product, and they don't know anything, so they're guessing too. Right, and right. So it was one of those stories that everyone that everyone puts out on note, you know, I don't blame Jalopnik at all. It was actually a really good story. Um, but these are the first three cars that showed up as pictures that aren't Teslas in the comments section. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Underneath their story. Okay. All right. Okay. I clicked a story about Tesla. The first three non-Tesla cars shown as photos in the comments section of the Jalopnik story about the Roadster. Bug Eye Sprite. Okay. And I'm going to provide zero context for why they were in there. Okay. All right. Because I literally just scrolled until here's one pictures. Here's one with a... Very nice chrome upper lip. Okay. Like All right. Okay. The Honda Beat. Oh, but wait. Hang on. I have to look at this oh, one. the green one. The little green one. Yeah. Okay. All That's right. That's a good one. I like that. Okay. Honda Beat. All mm-hmm. right. Beat. Okay. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. What happened? Yeah. What happened there? I threw a W in. Okay. Honda Why Beat. not? Just throw some in. Yeah. Okay. All right. There we are. Oh, yeah. That one has chalked wheels. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. then the last one was a VW Beetle. An old an old Beetle. Okay. A classic Beetle. Classic All Beetle. Right. Okay. Yeah, let's go uh just yeah. straight up on that one. Let's go uh nineteen sixty eight. Sure. Okay. All right. Um okay, I'm going to Oh man. Uh I like the bug eye sprite. I like the bug eye sprite a lot. The beat looks tiny. It's a little K car. Yeah, it is. I think I think I'm going to. Mm, damn. Okay, I'm gonna kill the Volkswagen Beetle. I think. For a day, I'm gonna drive the Honda Beat. Yeah. And then I think I have to marry a Bug Eye Sprite. I think you've chosen I think correctly this, there. Well, well, actually, I think I'm gonna. Flip it. Well, no, the beat's a convertible too. Hmm. Do you want to make it worse and make all three of them convertibles for me? <laughs> sure. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll, do, we'll make it a convertible. Okay. Then, it wasn't in the, in then the I'll I'll definitely marry the Austin Healey. Then. Okay. Yeah. And and for a day, I have to drive the beat. Yeah. yeah I really want to drive one of those. I'm really curious yes. to how it drives. And I will f- I will play nothing on the radio, which I assume is a mini disc player. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, right. Probably. Is we've got the beat. <laughs> we've got the beat. I like it. We've got the beat. You have to beat. track that down on mini disc. We've got the beat. I got it. We've got the beat. Yep. Yeah, and what would you do? I think that I think you've done correct. I've done, I think you've done You'd done marry you'd there. marry the Austin. Yeah. Although yeah. I might flip it and marry the beat. The beat? Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It is. And I don't have to worry about fitting in it. No, um, I do. I think I would marry the beat. Yeah. Okay. And I drive okay. the, the, the sprite for a day. Dude, that would be awesome. What if yeah. we showed up to track day and a bug eye sprite and the beat? I mean, we'd that be... sounds like a crime fighting team. Bug eye <laughs> and the beat? Ian, we would get you some sleep, buddy. What? No, this is our <laughs> destiny, and our nemesis is the Beetle. Uh, yeah. Ian, yeah. you just wrote a comic book in FMK cars. <laughs> I like it. Ian, yes. I lately have been tootling around in a car. Tootling? Yeah, I've been tootling. Tootling. All right. Yeah. What? What? What sort of vehicle is this? Well, when I messed up my. Uh, Wheel stud. On, oh yeah, one of those self-induced issues. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. I uh I had to drive to Steamboat Springs the very next day, mm. so in a panic, I booked a rental car through Enterprise, mm-hmm. a Hyundai Veloster. Yeah. 
Yep. See, this is the difference between you and me. You're comfortable saying which enter, which uh, rental company you rent these cars from. Well, I didn't do anything bad in it. And right the, and, and there when it I is. When there, I, there it is. Yeah, when when I when I flick it back at the agent like a cigarette butt, <laughs> then I don't say the name. I don't say the name. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, but let's talk about the Veloster. I, it's so I have not driven one, but it's a you car, haven't driven one. I have not. Okay. But it's a car that I've been like fascinated with ever since it came out. I'm for, mildly obsessed with one for good reason because the styling alone. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It has three doors. Yes. Right. Yeah. Let's see if we can pull up uh, like a picture that maybe has the open door. So it has two doors on the passenger side. One door on the drivers. Right. Right? Right. And I'm not exactly sure why, but it's cool and I like it and I want more of it. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's it was a a, a cool little car. And it, the, when it came out especially, you know, there weren't really any interesting looking cars in that segment. Right, right. Um, and now they've gotten a little bit better. Um, but... Still, it's still like it doesn't look like other things on the road, and I no. just appreciate when people do that now. Yeah, yeah. Especially for you know, kind of not like upmarket cars. Really. Yeah, yeah. No, it it looks good from just about every angle. Yeah, the seats are fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it it's slow. Let's just get that right. It looks like it would be a little pocket rocket. Right. Even the turbo is known to be pretty slow. Right. So and, it, and it's exacerbated because we're up at altitude. Exactly. And you were driving to Steamboat. I was driving to Steamboat. So I drove over uh, the Eisenhower Tunnel Pass, right? Yeah. You know, so like I was at, you know, 11,000 some odd feet, right? Okay. You know, at the Eisenhower, you know. You went through the Eisenhower Tunnel? Uh-huh. You didn't take 40? Nope. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did see that that was another way, but yeah, yeah ways threw me up I seventy oh, until weird. yeah, until Silverthorne. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can do. And that. so, if you haven't done that drive from Silverthorne North, mm -hmm. no, it is fucking amazing. Oh, really? Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, okay. And it's amazing, twisty two lane blacktop. Oh, awesome! It's fantastic. Check that out. Yeah, uh, did it on a weekday because I was driving up there for work. Yeah. And no traffic. And Sweet. Yeah, and the little Veloster did okay. The thing that is crushing it is the gas mileage, okay? Yeah. yeah. So I filled it up before I left, drove to Steamboat, drove back, drove around all day, got over 450 miles on a tank. Wow. 13-gallon tank. Wow. Yeah, 38-point-something miles per gallon, even going up the mountains to Steamboat. That's really impressive. Right. Yeah. Right? How it, slow was it? It was totally tolerable. Really? It was totally tolerable. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't like dangerous slow. Nope. Not dangerous slow. Okay. Still past trucks and everything like oh, that. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've driven a car up the mountains before that yeah. was like this what was is it? unsafe. It was an old uh Jeep Cherokee. Okay. That was like my friend when I first moved here, he had he had bought it and he just like I had an extra parking space at my apartment, and he was like, "Well, okay. I'm just gonna leave this car with you, okay, and then you can use it when you need to, or whatever. But it's gonna be like my I fly in then go snowboarding car. Oh, okay, sure. And uh, it was horrendous. Was it like the 2.8 liter V6 crappy one? No, it was an inline. Uh, the inline four liter. six, the four liter. But okay. like it was just it was old, and the transmission computer was like going out on it, oh, okay. and it would like. It was one of those things like you're doing like 65 going up a, one of the bigger hills, especially up at 11,000 yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah. And if you were fully loaded, like you start losing speed. Okay. <laughs> with your foot welded to the floor. Okay. okay. And then yeah, when the tra when the transmission computer was really going out, so they have this it's separate ECU for the transmission, and it's in the glove box on the passenger side. Oh, weird. Okay. And it would get hot. And oh it, no it was, way! When it started to fail, it started to get hot, and you would have to like unplug it for and like put it on the seat. To cool it off, and then w wait a few minutes, and then plug it back in, start the car up, and it would be fine again. Oh, but it wouldn't wow. kick down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. It the Veloster wasn't unsafe. Yeah. Okay. Dude, it's like I'm kind of falling in love with the Veloster. Yeah. And I you kind of want one. Fit in it. Okay. I do. That's the thing. Okay. I, so I sat and wanted an auto show years ago. Right. Right. Couldn't fit. Did that, did that one have a sunroof? 
Uh, you know what? That's a really good question. I bet, you that's I what bet it was. you're right. Rental spec might be saving my headroom. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So manual f- seats, driver and passenger. Uh, the the third seat I- or the rear seat is tiny. Yeah. You know, if you have a short passenger, you could fit somebody back there. Hi. Yep. Hi, <laughs> exactly. <everyone. laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The, the third door is cool. Um. I fit in it. I didn't think I would. Um. Yeah. The the guy from uh. You know. Enterprise just picked me up in it, yeah. and I was like, "So, what am I going to get today?" And he's like, "Well, you can have this if you want." Yeah. Okay. Sure. You know, I uh, I recommended that to Katie and Lauren mm-hmm. before they bought, uh, before she ended up with the accent. Yeah. And I still think that would have been way better than the accent. But you know, if if they have to like carry anybody around in the back seat, yeah, that that's not the car. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it certainly would be more fun, but the back yeah. seat is really, you might as well paint a picture of a back seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. No, it's it's a cool little car, and it has Apple CarPlay mm-hmm. um, and Android Auto, mm-hmm. you know, the the modern Hyundai stuff. Hyundai, yeah, I like I like Hyundai's um, yeah. infotainment right? a lot. Yeah, because it's, it's just like, oh, Bluetooth audio, hit the button. You, who cares? Yeah, it right? just works. Yeah. It's not yeah. super fancy. Right. Yeah. The the thing I really like about the Hyundai infotainment system is that it's easy to trick it. So one of the worst things about like uh, a cheap infotainment system is like that radio that you get playing before your Bluetooth audio steps in. Right. And it's always some bullshit Sirius XM channel or, you know, like mm-hmm. whatever the last person was listening to. And right. I'm too lazy to change Which is also it. like somehow always the only reggae station in whatever city you're in at yes. like absurd volume yes yes so who are these people who are renting all these cars and just setting it to reggae i don't know i don't know it's insane. right yeah well it has to do with the marijuana legalization in colorado so that's why this happens seeing. across the country <laughs> Dave. i'm telling you it is a national phenomenon okay okay all right god I'm not a fan of reggae. Me yeah. either. <laughs> but so what you do is you have an aux cable, right? Yeah. You just plug the aux cable in. It doesn't have to be attached to anything. Yeah. The first thing that says, aux in detected. That's it. Then you can just hit the Bluetooth button. That's it. There you go. Yep. No more or reggae. You could just no more reggae. Turn down the volume. <laughs> but then you'd have to turn it back for your Bluetooth audio. I guess. Yeah. I want silence. Okay. And then my and then my podcasts. That okay. I li- then Pistol Shrimps Radio. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ian. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm re- the steering feels good. We've kind of been all up on Hyundai and Kia yeah. lately. Yeah. But I think it's you know it's, for good reason. It's uh, it's yeah they're on a tear right now. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I saw somebody driving one of those little Kia hatchbacks that we drove at uh, oh, really? the performance drive. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I was like, yeah, good on you. Good yeah. on you. Obviously, we're not that right. effusive about it because we can never remember the name of it. Yeah, the key. Well, it, 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 and it's like the Kia Forte Five GT Plus it's, Sport yeah, Taco yeah. Applesauce. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, what yeah. else? What else do we have to talk about? I think that's about it. Oh, I have one more FMK cars for you. I Let's for- do that, and I then I think we done one. did car show. I think we did, Ian. Uh, yeah, I know. Veloster up close, enhanced. Um, we we w- I. I love the Veloster. It's fantastic. Yeah. I look forward to being the fourth owner of one some point in the future. <laughs> All right. Ian, this is It'll just- be an amazing Lemons car in like- Right? 10, 15 years. Yeah. Be great. Okay. This is just because. I don't know why. Right? Okay. Okay. Just because. All right. Just because. I'm into it. First up, Lancia Scorpion. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Catch. Yes. There is a scorpion in the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Right. Okay. Should have seen that coming. Uh, okay. All Kay. right. Look at the way the trunk opens. Yeah, those things are Look at that. super cool. That's cool, man. Is this one with rally lights? There yes. you go. That's what you get. You get a rally prepped. And that color, Oh, please. yeah. There you go. And you're doing Dakar. And okay. The and there's a scorpion in there. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Up next, Lancia. A one one two Abarth. Okay, I don't know if there's going to be a fair use picture of it, but mm. I think you get the idea. Yeah. Right. The Abarth version. Yeah. Catch with this one. Mm-hmm. There's a hundred and twenty, a hundred and twelve ants in the car. <laughs> okay. Okay. And right. not ants like your mother's sister. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Lastly, no picnics in that car. No picnics. Yeah. Lastly, is a nineteen fifty six Fiat Multipla M U L T I P L A six hundred. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. Yes. The catch is, Ian. I have six hundred people in there. Nope. No. There are five other versions of you, thus making six Ians in the multiply. Like you've multiplied Ians. I have to be with, and I'm yeah, and I have to be in their you company. You have to yeah, you have to be. Oh in. well, kill. <laughs> you couldn't do with five other versions of yourself. No. <laughs> you guys. Can. I don't like the one version of myself that already exists. This is already not fun. Why would I do that? Uh, Ian, you guys couldn't land on a radio station? You certainly could, right? Oh, it right? would be a fist fight. I mean, that would be... No. <laughs> no. Oh, God. What would six versions of me look like? I'm just, just so ar- happy. Arm sore. It would just... <laughs> arm sore from high-fiving all yes. the time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> An orgy is what it would look like. <laughs> just, just a little bike peloton of nothing but Dave's. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Good job, job, buddy. You guys are just doing like the Uh, yeah. When when, when you like the last person sprints to the front, Uh and it would just be nonstop compliments. Yep. (laughs) As as they go. Uh huh. Yeah. You look fantastic today. You guys would just get like you would win every race because you're just powered by each other's joy. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Like if if I had to do that, uh-huh. it would just get driven off a cliff <laughs> immediately. By like popular vote, like it would be unanimous. <laughs> all six of you. In the we car. would all just look around and be like, "This this isn't gonna work out, right? We should probably just, yeah." All right. That's the one thing you can agree on. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh, oh, Ian! Oh my God! Okay. All right. So then what would you do besides killing the Fiat 600 multiple? I mean, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I feel yeah. so much better about this. Oh, my God. My um, face hurts. Um, I'm going to marry the scorpion with the scorpion. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, because, I mean, look yeah, at look it. look at it. It's right? just way It's just way too cool not yeah. to. Yeah. Um, And then for a day, I'm going to deal with ants, which I dislike ants more than i dislike scorpions to be honest oh really okay yeah. okay um look at that little hood scoop that's, that's pretty cool though for a day right. I, I will definitely do that okay yeah all right yeah and i'll just i'm gonna lure someone else into the car and like discreetly douse their <laughs> shoes with honey okay all right yeah and so that well th- done yeah distract the ants uh-huh and i will make my passenger a literal honey pot <laughs> For the ants. Why wouldn't you just invite me that probably has taffy on him? That's true. <laughs> That's true. You are a walking honey pot. Yeah. I would de- I would definitely marry the Fiat Multipla with six six, six versions of, of you. <laughs> yeah. What if it was five versions of me? <laughs> oh man, I would still do it. I would oh, still God. do it. That would not be good. I would do it and then I would be like Jane Goodall and document the madness. I mean, yeah. it would be like yeah. complaining in harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Just complaining in minor chords. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. One, no one would enjoy it. And that. then I would I would definitely F the scorpion with a scorpion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ian. We I think we've done did car show. I Ian. think we've done did car show. Ian. Dave. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you, everyone. Thank you and sorry yes. for whatever all this was. Yes. Um, if you want to find out more about this, I don't know what to tell you, but you can go to teamclearcoat.com and yes. get to all the other things from there. Um, rate and review us on iTunes. Yep. If you listen to the show, try it, try it out on YouTube. We show exactly. pictures of the cars we're talking about and yep. then you get to also, you know, look at the, the, the looks that I give to Dave. Uh huh. Click all our ads, please. Like this one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just disapproving scowl. Yeah, he One does my that. favorites. He does that when I play footsie with him under the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Or you give me an erotic gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Ian. Dave. Um, yes, yeah. thank you, everyone. Yeah. We don't know when this is coming out, so. We don't. Goodbye. We love you. We love you. Bye.